episode of one of my Beaming G Drive videos. Today we will be taking a look at the FR16 Formula 1 car. But first we may be thinking that here's a normal truck. And um, that's not the FR16. Oh, this truck is hiding something very, very good. Press F. Again, you see a little thing moving on the back. Which is quite cool. I'm going to leave it up in that position because I don't need it elsewhere. But now, if I press H, you can see the FR16 hiding in the back, just about. And of course, you put it up onto any level. Pretty easy to load them. I'm going to load in another car just to show you how easy it is to load a car. Unfortunately, there's only two cars and they fit into this truck. One is the FR16. And the other one, if I can find it, is the Bolloid. I can never find it on here, no. Um, where is it? No, here's the Bolloid. Now the cop version doesn't fit due to it being too tall. So we're going to go for the 390 GDR. And let's a new one. Okay, so as you see, these are the only two vehicles that will fit into the truck, unfortunately. And only just fit into the truck. And one, one, that's not one we want. Take it straight up to the top, and you see it does bend quite a bit, so you have to be very quick. Now it will fall off, and you will see a bit of clipping through the top here. But it does fit. Just leave it in there. Go back to the truck. I'm gonna put it in like that. Yeah, because we're now gonna go to the FR16 in a minute. After we get this truck up to speed, you will hear making a lot of turbo noise because so I've got the engine on. So that does allow the truck to go very fast. You sound like a jet. We better take off in a minute. Pretty good actually. We hit that ramp. Pretty good taken off. And I'm letting go to sort of a bit just to try and keep it in a straight line. Oh. 
we lost a spoiler, but and we lost a wheel, but we didn't spin out. And that was done perfectly, obviously we wouldn't have lost a spoiler, but luckily we took the break of checking time. Starting to spin out. But you are going faster, we hit the spoiler. And we've no she's gonna watch the track hit into the wall. That's why not. Well. well, we didn't get too bad of damage, but some of it, how the back tyre popped as well. Well, that tracks the right off, and it's still just car, I think. The wheel, it's not even on. Okay, so that crashed, that's destroyed, and the bolide, it's not that really too damaged. I mean, a few body panels are bent. The radiator is broken as well. But all the drive line is meant to be intact, apparently. It dries. So I might even be turning it. So I think that's a bit of a steering geometry, geometry issue now. Now, the issue is, you can't really load the vehicle in the truck while it's moving. I'll show you why. If I go into an F-16, you know, stuff like got the most power really and it would be light so surely it would have been better negative spoiler but let's see you meant to load it on the edge like that otherwise it would clip so if we go onto the track turn it round it would tap F we see that it goes up very nice and again it's broken okay it's gonna finish the truck off now Push it in, and there we go. We've got we've got a fully loaded FR16 into the truck, and um, the truck's now got a spoiler. Right, let's restart this. We said it. I should say. And lower that down. Is what we need. Try a game with this, but we'll do it a bit more carefully. But you, we'll see what I mean in a minute. That's better. Let it roll back by itself. And there you go. If I go back into the truck now. That should go up fine without clipping. Perfect. So now we're going to load it back down to the floor again and pretend like we just loaded it onto the truck. If we start moving forward, remember the handbrake on the FR16 is on. We go forward, it will fall off. That's the only problem with that. The handbrake is te technically acting like it's on the ground, so it's pulling it straight off the truck. So if we get this up to, let's say, about 50 miles an hour. Try to keep it like that. And now we go on to the FR16. Get this up to speed, take the handbrake off. Throw. Speed. 
hopefully miss so I'm not to spill out right next to a, a solid ramp and break an axle. Or bend the wheel wherever it did. And that is going on. I don't know why this truck always fears off to one side. But that's what it does. Now you see when I try to get onto the truck. I've never tried it in this, in this Formula 1 car yet. I think they're too well on that one at that time, and we've stuck. And we're gonna flip. So, try it again, but this one we'll use the Bolide. Nice. The Formula 1 car is not really gonna do it, unfortunately. And I would hold it after you do the trick where you hold them the forward arrow key down and then the switch vehicles. But the only problem is with the engine and turbo setup that can do just under 200 miles an hour. So I don't even want to have to spend a long time trying to catch the truck up, really. And it's gone and flipped on me. Great! Oh no, so annoying, because you can't actually control two vehicles at once. I mean, it would have flipped anyway without rear fuel flat in its engine anyway. That's nice, that's what it does. So I'm not putting any input into the keyboard now. And you see it was just even though we were going left, it's gliding straight into the embankment. So there's nothing we can do really to keep it going in a straight line. So now that's gone past. Hopefully we won't flip the shot for time. I can't really span out unfortunately, so we were losing a lot of time there. And I can't catch up to the truck. Going off to the back, so it makes it even harder. Generally, we've got two players. Make doing this manoeuvre a lot easier and probably doable. The only problem is, on a single player, you've got to control two vehicles at once. Like so, we can keep going back and forth all the time. The track just always wants to go off to the side. So it makes doing this very hard. By the time you've got that back, back straight, you lost all the speed in this vehicle. It's really hard to do this on your own. That's what I'll do is try to come onto the ramp. And now I'm kind of on there. So now I'm on the ramp. I just and it's a bit I'm going to bother doing it again. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. Can't be able to try, try that again. But it used to wouldn't move very well, as you saw originally. When you used to move away, it just falls off the back. But you can do it halfway around, at least, which isn't that bad. But um, unfortunately, at the minute, you just can't really, without it being two player, really, load the vehicle, not I can see, while driving. But, um, you can un unload one, but. If it was to be an actual like ramp trailer, so you can drive up a ramp, it could work. And I would like to do, do that eventually, but um, yeah, it's not a bad vehicle. I know I've obviously not really used this, but um, it's fun to offload it from a truck. Anyway, this is the on you. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and um, if they haven't, please get your friends to do the same. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed, and um, yeah, please.